Hi guys. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound hoarse. I was I'm sick of been at the doctor's today, but it's like ten o'clock at night and I've been waiting to open this because we got a box opening. I'm trying to cover my address and stuff like that. So I have waited so I could open it with you guys. And the story behind this one is I saw it on eBay and um, I ended up winning and oops we have another big big one that's supposed to be here tomorrow but um this seller this lady was so sweet because she um, couldn't ship because she was getting cancer treatment for her son and I said no problem that her family came first and I would wait she said you still want it I said definitely so I wish um, her son's treatment well she had to go out of state and then she had to rush back to the ER so out of state to another hospital so I was like, you know, I know how that is with my health and my son's health, him being special needs and can get sick really quick and I have cancer in my family big time. So I was very sympathetic to that and I said, your family comes first there, I can wait. But she, um, I was only charged like, what was I charged for shipping, let me see. She even take the invoice to the box here inside uh i was only charged twelve dollars and fifty cents in shipping and i don't know if she did it because of the weight but i can see that she paid oops 25.45 for priority so you can see inside here is a paradise galleries box So I got some different dolls for my birthday, which my everybody knows. If you watched my other video that my birthday was February 1st. Oh, if you're anybody who wants to know, I've had some people ask. These tables, um, they used to have the big gray one, but I have one in black, one in purple. Jake has one in blue. And they fold really quickly like an ironing board. I'll show you underneath here. See how it's like a strap? You just lift that and that just runs on that strap and you can fold it. And there's like a little lock pedal. These are at Walmart. Oops, that's knocked something down. And if you can't get them at your local Walmart, like my local Walmart doesn't have them. Um, actually, they just got them in. They got them in the black. But another one we went to out of town had the purple and the blue and that's before I found the black ones. And I got... I love it. Um, the gray bigger one I have in the back, uh, it opens like an iron board, but it doesn't have that strap so like the bar can fall on your toes or whatever. That's why I like the strap of this one. Jake uses it as like an end stand table because it can go up and down in height. And he can color on it, he can build Legos on it, whatever, because his bed, um, he has to have a bed rail on it. So because uh, he has sleep disorder and he will thrash and I don't want him to fall out of bed because he has a pretty high up twin bed. So anyways, this is great for him. So he has a blue one in his room and I love it. I can fold them up and slide them, you know, right in the little alcove out of the way. I can pop them out to do a project. I've used these and put like a chuck pad down when I'm reborning so that all like the glass crystals go in there. You can lower them for you like you're sitting at the couch. So I had someone ask, but these are only $15, $14.99 at Walmart. And if you don't have them at your Walmart, you can get them at walmart.com. So I answered that question. <laughs> so she was nice enough to... Um, send this baby two day shipping and so she paid extra for the shipping I didn't know it till I got the tracking 
Look at the embedded. I haven't seen a pair. This must be a different box. I haven't seen it where it's like, this looks like mermaid, you know, like metallic. And the flowers are like 3D. You can feel it. So I did use my birthday coat at Paradise Galleries. So when I found this one, I said, oh, I don't have to buy that one on there. And I splurged and I got two on Paradise Galleries that I've already shipped and they're on their way. So then I got the twins that on eBay, the little skipper that I already opened. This one on eBay. Two from Paradise Galleries. So I ended up with, for my birthday, four Paradise Galleries dolls. And on eBay, I got a Masterpiece doll. And then another one I was going for, the same seller. That person didn't buy, so I'm going to get that one. So. Yeah. So I kind of got a little spoiled on my birthday. Spoiled myself. Ooh. Okay, it goes right to the baby. <laughs> Alrighty. There was no reveal. So. She is number... K316 Tall Dreams Ensemble. The only thing is her um she lost the giraffe. Oh yeah, see like this box is different. It says very delighted Paradise Galleries doll. So she is I think she's one of the very first ones because her daughter had just kept it as a collector and she said her daughter was older now. And she's made by Melissa Fagan. And I love Melissa Fagan as a reborn sculptor. So she is so cute. She looks different in person and I've watched everybody's YouTube videos and say I got travel hair, hot hair. She has a very cute Asian face. And the face is nice and firm. And so is... Yeah, she has the um, older... Not older, but the original Paradise Galleries before they had the really squishy. And I like the firmer like this because then you can fill them with glass bead and put them on a reborn body. So she didn't have her giraffe... Her stuffed giraffe and her blanket and some other little thing. And she's like, do you still want her? And I'm like, yeah. She has her COA. She, it's, I mean, it's the doll that you're buying. So let's undress her and check her out. I should have brought an outfit out to dress her. But I am a sucker for Asians. But she reminds me of the Gabriel sculpt. Oh, jeez, you're not even seeing it. Sorry. You can tell I'm not with it here. But she is very portly. And she has like a very suede body. I got a little bit of lint right there. But she is in just like a new condition. So I said, why would I pay so much more when I can, you know, get her for, from someone else? Of course the cats are playing in the paper. Can't find the. I had hair conditioner right here too. Just one second. I gotta grab the conditioner. I don't have a pause. Okay. And I'm in a night dress, so excuse me if you see me go by. <laughs> I'm in like hot pink. Um, but this is the detangler I like for them for wigs is the Honest Detangler and it smells like sweet orange vanilla it says but it's it's a very it's not a heavy citrus it's very sweet I like this little fish she's like yeah put them up Popeye <laughs> so with acrylic wigs like this because they remind me of the Masterpiece dolls I don't like the hand applied hair of Ashton Drake or Paradise Galleries and I seen uh, I was watching Aloha 
Babies has a YouTube channel and she does a lot of the Paradise Scholars and she puts them on reborn bodies and stuff and I see that she recently did um, I think it's the princess was it my first princess something like that the no the princess has arrived one of the uh, or was it spoiled it was one of the bundle babies and she pulled the hair right off looks like she had a ponytail because this piece is a lot longer than the rest and this wet brush is too soft so I normally use my regular, like I will use my regular wet brush because it is a firm, um, this is more for like reborn hair, but I love the wet brand brushes and I use them on my hair and I use them to detangle uh, masterpiece doll wigs other doll wigs and if it's really needs conditioning a uh, tip and trick that I do and I found is the best is I use I will style and do her hair afterwards I use the uh, suave professionals and the kind is sleek and I take a spray bottle really really hot water not boiling but you know really hot tap water let it get really hot fill the bottle and I will spray the wig I do it with masterpiece dolls like these dolls I would do and it, I'm telling you if they have curly hair or whatever it'll tangle it and you can set the curls perfectly I have redone so many wigs and made them look like they're brand new and then when you get like frazzles like this on the end I trim those I have professional like um I bought a barber's very sharp thinning and you know regular scissor set let's put your onesie back down for a minute <laughs> so I uh, well you're just all over the place little girl see on a reborn body she her arms and stuff would turn better so I mean she is pretty good weighted though for being a paradise galleries that's why she's one of their number one sellers her Nishi and a few others but anyways uh, put it really hot water and put I don't know you got to go by eye probably like four or five tablespoons you know a good amount not too much you don't want too much conditioner for for like a eight ounce spray bottle shake it up really good and keep you know shake it in intermittently while you're doing it and I use the regular wet brand brushes because it has you know the regular spiked bristles with the little balls on the end but the cushion of it is firm and it's good for detangling it won't gnar hair all that so when I'm going through I will do do that on the hair and then go through and Oh my goodness, what a difference. It reconditions the wigs, everything. Brings them back to almost brand new. I've done it with 10, 12, 14 year old masterpiece dolls where you think the wig was lost. I mean, it was just like a rat's nest. I did it, one had really curly hair. It was like a big bouffant. It was so gnarled. I did her hair. I trim the ends because you know that's frayed like when you're going through you know with a heavy brush and you get to the ends and just snip them at an angle and get rid of that you know fried on the ends and oh my goodness and then her hair was like really you know tight curls really cute so I like picked it a little bit and let it air dry that way and here it is like seven months later her hair is still set that way. I've done it with plenty of them. Refurbished the wigs and brought them back. I've had some that were so dry. You can do it with Barbie dolls. You can do it with whatever. But even human hair, I'm telling you. Suave Professionals Sleek. And use a wet brand brush that has... Um, hold on, I'll grab one right here.
because every time I find them on holler.com, which they're on there, they're normally like $13 at your pharmacy or whatever. When I find them on holler and things, I will buy, buy them there. So this is a wet brush. And you can see the bristles. Now this one has spaces in between because this is for thick hair. It's custom. You know, so it's a little bit spaces in between. But you can see the, the bedding of the no matter how hard I push, that padding is not moving. And that is the secret technology of these. So I'll show you going through her here quickly. Now you'll see, like, now I'm going to get a snark. Like, a, you know. Now if I would normally use the other conditioner but if it's I mean hers isn't that bad so I can easily you know just go through it it's mainly it's not even the underneath hair it's mainly this like originally was the ponytail so when you brush it out you will get all like this dead fuzzy stuff on the end so I normally would use my professional scissors but for time purposes, I'll just show you. And then you just cut it at an angle. Oops, don't slip. Okay, these aren't as sharp as my other ones, definitely. What happened with these scissors? Because you want a sharp cut. You don't want, you know, a frayed cut. So you're getting rid of that dead end stuff. So the next time you're going through brushing... But with the sleep conditioner, it's like you put a leave-in treatment and it won't hurt the wig. It is amazing, but just don't use so much that it looks greasy, you know what I mean? So you can always add more conditioner to the hot water. If your water gets cold, it's okay to um, take the top off your, if your spray bottle is plastic and it's, you know, microwave safe. Now you can see how sleek that looks now compared to what it was a minute ago. So even I've gone the opposite direction. Now in the wigs there's a netting. You never want to rip that netting because that netting is glued. If the gluing is coming up underneath, like some of the older Masterpiece dolls, the glue will be old. You can re-glue them before you treat them. So re-glue them, let it dry before you try and detangle if it's coming up. Because if you try and detangle and the wig is not affixed well, obviously you're going to yank the wig off the doll's head and then you're going to have worse problems. You don't want to saturate it when it's... And if you think the glue is old and you have a gap like that, like I said, it's better to glue it down, wait a day or two, and then do the detangling and you would do it in sections. Now even hers, see how she has a little bit of flyaway? Now I would, br you can comb it up to the side, just like if you were getting, giving a haircut. And you see these little frays right here? And just, oh my goodness, why are these like the worst? I think I've used them too many times opening boxes and things. So I don't want to do it anymore with these. But um, just trim it and it'll lay back down. You go around and look. See how she has a little bit of frays on the end. Don't be afraid to trim a little bit. I mean, don't go in the front. Definitely in the bang area. And just go straight across. You never want to cut bangs that way on a doll, a human, anything. Anyone, you lift it up so you can see, you know, you know where the part is, but you lift it up and then obviously you would hold it between your fingers and get just to the little tippy tip bit and just snip snip, you know. But she has this long piece here, which you can hear she still has a little bit of snarls in which I need to treat that and trim that but she would be cute with that and a little ponytail up 
because that was the original design of the doll. Or if you want to, if you don't want to have that piece long on this doll and you just don't want to, you know, have, you could move each piece to the side and trim it so it's the length of the rest of the hair and just have it blend in and then bring it up when you want to. So you can, if it's the same length, see like if I comb it down like here, it's not because you have this frayed. That is the stuff you would cut. So just some tips because I've had people ask, how do you treat your wigs? How do you, you know, how do you know what to cut? How do you cut it? Like this piece is going to drive me crazy. That's the piece that goes in the pack. So after I get off video, we'll condition her more, change her, all that. But this was a quick unveiling because I didn't know she didn't have anything over here. It was just like, open the box and there she is. But she is Tall Dreams Ensemble and I'm going to put her on a reborn body. I'm going to weight her with glass beads in the body and the limbs. I'm going to be doing that with all the Paradise Galleries because I just think it would make them more floppy and instead of, you know, because they're just some beads in the bum, which has quite a bit of the plastic beads. And I like the fine glass and it would give them more weight in their legs and more, see, because it's like, it's hard, really hard to turn her arms. So you would get more posability and she's pretty stocky wide for the body she's on because if see I can't turn her arm yeah it's hard to turn her arm here because they got their zip ties so tight when you're putting zip ties if you go to put them on a re, another reborn body don't do it tight enough but not too tight that you can't still turn this because not only turning the shoulder you want to be able to turn the arm so if you had the arm like this and you want now I have to hold it to turn it and you wanted her pose where her arm was like this you know or whatever it's quite a bit it's too tight there also I've heard people putting clear nail polish on the joint before they close um, and close it and that will help it turn but I've never had a problem like see it's hard to even turn her legs because they have the zip ties so they you know so if you want to make it more reborn like that's another way you can do it so I figured weighting their limbs and because the older sculpts have the firmer vinyl not the new um, what is it feel like soft touch or whatever life like where it's just I mean you touch it and it goes like very very soft so this firmer will hold up to hold the glass bead and you don't fill the whole leg you only go to about here if that much you can feel it yourself and then you fill the rest with cotton polyfill really snug and you can cover the top with little felt and hot glue so you make sure that it doesn't go spilt into the body so she would be a three-fourth arm full leg baby but she does seem kind of short so in the way they have it here it looks like she should have a hip as well because they have it ready joined and her legs are too short so I would get her on a three-fourth arm and a three-fourth leg body that way she would have more hip and they were she would be a longer baby and it would look more proportionate so she would still be a 19 to 20 inch. It's just she would have hips. Because I've seen reborns and I get them and it's like something's not right. And then you realize it's the body. But I think she's really cute. I really like, we didn't look at her details. She has really cute brown eyes. She's like, yeah, poke me in the eye. Just look at you a little bit. A little, little white something there. And she has very delicate lashes, little painted. But I was telling you, um, she could probably take a modified pacifier. Uh, Aloha, babies. She whoops. She took the hand applied hair off, just peeled it off, and then removed the glue. And she painted hair. 
with acrylic paints, which isn't even reborning paints. It's the paints that I did pour, um, they're called paint pour ornaments. This, uh, this last Christmas, I'll show you what acrylic paints are. You can get them at Walmart, but you can go on her video, Aloha Baby. And, um, oops, she has some DIYs. But it's just these, and I paid $5 for this whole set. So, she didn't have a black, she said, so she did a brown, but she wanted darker hair on hers. And she did blushing on one. All kinds of things just took a you know just like you would rewarding and sponge it on and then she used a sealant that she bought she just mixed in with it so you can modify paradise gallery dolls Ashton Drake dolls I don't know about painting on the Ashton Drake silicone because it's it's not true like Ecoflex silicone it's called tin silicone so I've heard that it can break down and things, so I wouldn't on that. And uh, I just want to show you something too. I got these in from Amazon. They're Even Flow Balance for my Twin A. I got a couple different kinds of pacifiers in. Another new kind that I'd never seen before. Let me see. These were I think three forty nine add on price. But I think they'd be perfect for twin A. But you could also modify them. So they're just clear silicone. But I've seen people that modify them. So they're kind of inward like this. But they take this button on the other side. They cut like the nipple off here. And then they insert it backwards the, that way and put a magnet here and kind of like close it. But if you want to just cut like the tip of this off a little bit, you know, it can fit your other dolls too if they can go in and off. But, um, and this is cute because you can still put like a passy leash on. And I just like the clear so it looks more realistic in the Twin A. Reborn by Bonnie Brown. So I have Twin A and B. Uh, so this video is long enough. Oh my goodness. Didn't realize it was that long. So I'm going to end it here. So after I modify her, I got to order a body and all that. Um, I'll show you the difference. So this is Tall Dreams Ensemble, which she's going to get changed and all that tonight. So... <laughs> Like, comment, and subscribe, and as usual, dolly hugs.